So right now, my United fans are really upset. They are very bitter. They are ID red. Okay, this is what happened at the Emirates. Arsenal defeated Manchester United by three goals to one. And before I move ahead, I have to say sorry to my guys, Lengesha, Osaro, Uncle Calvin, Emeka, Almarket. Let's move ahead. Well, the game started in a good pace. Um, wasn't really the best um, start to the game, but we could see Onana building. We could see what United wanted to do. Arsenal, on the other hand, you know what they want to do, but they didn't really have the right personnel to execute exactly what they wanted to do. Or should I say personnel? Because Kai Havertz, I wouldn't lie, he seemed like a square peg in a round hole, especially in the first half. Um, he wasn't so sure of himself. It's, it's obvious that Kai Havertz is low in confidence. That brother needs to get his confidence back. And I know when he gets his confidence back, the Arsenal fans will enjoy him. But for now, nah, he needs, he, he needs some time off from the bench, not on the pitch. Because there are better players who can come in and do the job. But well, Mikel Arteta is the coach and he knows what he's doing. We assume. Okay, let's go down to um, the goals. Beautiful goal, first of all, by Marcos Rashford. Fantastic goal. He seems to be doing that a lot now against Arsenal. He's got loads of goals against them. Um, uh, should the keeper, could the keeper have done better? I don't think so. Um, the both players in the front, um, Saliba and Ben White, seem to have obstructed his view. And he did manage to get a fingertip um, on the ball, but um, he couldn't stop that shot. But in less than a minute later, Captain Fantastic. Martin Odegaard got the equalizer for Arsenal and it was a beautiful play there by who I thought was Arsenal's most dangerous player in the first half, Martinelli. Fantastic player, you know, it's not easy coming up against Juan Bissaka 1v1 because he's very good at defending. But Martinelli held up his own and he tried and he got the assist for Odegaard. So at half time it was 1-1 and then second half came a lot of drama, you know, United... Um, and he scored a goal where a lot of people thought the referee or the VR officials should have looked at um, different angles, you know, as to, um, to to determine if that was offside or not. But, well, it happens. It's football. Hmm? Manchester United fans, you remember how you do it to other people. You remember Wolves? When Unana turned into Dillian White and Anthony Joshua punching a player and they didn't even get a penalty. You remember that? You remember last season, Arsenal versus Man United, when Martinelli scored a goal and the VR didn't even look at it. Well, it happens. I'm not, I'm, I'm not in support of that, but the truth is, it happens. So if you have your chances, take them. And to be fair, Marcus Rashford down the left-hand side had a lot of chances, but his um, decision-making wasn't the best at all. I'm not a United fan, but I was quite disappointed with his decision-making. And I'm sure Ten Hag should be giving him a big-time shout for not doing what he was supposed to do, which is be effective and make better decisions as an experienced player, supposedly. Well, that happened and then went into the 90th minute where Declan Rice, Declan Rice scored an all-important goal for Arsenal. That goal was fantastic, although it was deflected by the legendary Johnny Evans. Uh, well, pff, doesn't matter. He gave Arsenal fans the joy, and as you can see here, Declan Rice celebrating that goal. And we thought that would be it. Well, that wasn't it. On the 99th minute, I think, Gabriel Jesus got a goal with a beautiful assist from Fabio Vieira, who is now beginning to push to start in the Arsenal team. Uh, I can tell you, he's got this chemistry uh, with Martinelli, and he's got this chemistry with other players way better than Kai Havertz. I mean, even Mikel Arteta said in his presser that if you see Martinelli and Fabio together, they are like brothers. So why don't you play them together? Why don't you start them? Like I said before, I'm not the coach. But yeah, that wrapped it up for Arsenal. 3-1 win for Arsenal. And they go into the international break with a fantastic victory. For United, um, any positive for them to, to take, um, I would say, um, their new striker, Hoyland. That guy is strong. And he's pacey. He's going to cause a lot of problems to the defence in the Premier League. He just needs to get the ball on time. Um, United fans, you have a good one in your hand there. Yeah. He's not going to flop. That boy, to think that he's only 20. I don't see Anthony Marshall starting anytime soon. That guy is going to do a lot of things in the league. And um, yeah, for the likes of um, Harry Maguire, well, you should have paid him off to leave. Well, you decided to keep him, so that's what you get, okay? So yeah, I'll wrap this up here in five minutes. Thank you very much for watching this. Remember, you can go to the link, follow my um, channel, go to my YouTube, subscribe, like, and share this video.